definitely climatic change affects uh, the incidence of diarrheal diseases. Now, you all know that diarrheal diseases can be seasonal. We do see a lot of it more in the rainy season. Sometimes we do see it in the summer seasons as well. So now with this change of uh, seasons, the effect of uh, temperature and rain, there is an upward rise in the diarrheal diseases that we see. We're seeing a lot of them in the pediatric age group. Definitely dehydration as part of climate change is an important concern right now. Yes, we also are seeing them in a variant of all viral illnesses. It's not all the time bacterial in nature. We see that patients come in with varied uh, complaints. They come in with a fever. It can be associated with a cough or a cold. And But importantly, nowadays, we see a lot of patients coming in with nausea, vomiting and severe diarrhea. If you look at the world uh, picture, there are certain parts of the world, if I were to name a few, the African subcontinent, do have a lot of diarrheal related deaths. We do see the youngsters uh, getting involved. It could be uh, because of improper sanitation. It could be, of course, because of lack of pure immunity, lack of basic facilities, and also lack of treatment facilities. So not comparing the two worlds, but yes, diarrhea is an important concern for India as well. And moving forward, I think we need to be a little more careful about detecting and treating viral illnesses as soon as possible. Climate change is a major global issue. We have to be careful about climatic changes in the world, not only our country. Now, for example, we do see that there are temperature variations in, in many parts of uh, our country. I think recently we did see a, a small snippet about Kashmir in January, where we, we saw that a place uh, which was usually used to a lot of snowfall did not get any snowfall this time. So all these uh, climatic changes are obviously going to affect the day-to-day uh, -day living of the people of that particular area their immunity, the way they live, their uh, hygiene, their sanitation, all comes into play in this particular matter. Now, for example, in seasonal changes, when winter is becoming summer, summer is becoming winters, it does become difficult for the uh, people to adjust to these kind of changes. Okay, so ultimately, the entire uh, biological clock or the entire biological uh, movement that occurs naturally is completely disturbed. Infections can get on the rise. Now, for example, a, a particular place which is getting more than required rainfall can have a lot of issues with water stagnation. There can be diseases which are being widely spread. Diseases such as dengue or even uh, gastroenteritis uh, can be all the year round. There need not be any seasonal afflictions to it. So primarily we need to know that uh, we have to adapt first to tackle climatic change and of course we must do our bit to make sure that this change is not so deep enough to affect our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, well, India, we are a large country, we are the world's most populous nation uh, and it's obvious that population does have a negative effect on uh, public health, right? We all know that. And of course, with the climate change coming, things are getting difficult, things are getting worse uh, to tackle these. So I think, uh, you know, as a policy, uh, you know, health first policy, we must look at grassroots level changes. I think we have to be more forceful in getting down to the last man or child or woman in the country, the rural areas. I think education awareness is very important, not only about climate, but about practices of general health, of general sanitation, of general, you know, even things like safe cooking, clothing, washing, hand hygiene. I think if you look at these as baseline issues to be dealt with, we are going to go a long way.